Okay, so we are here for a quick update on Bubble Live after I have used it for almost exactly seven months now. And additionally, they just launched the private classes that I believe for right now are just for Spanish and English. I don't know if the way that they're doing this is going to change you know it is very new they've only been out for like a week or so now some of the characteristics of these private classes that i'm going to talk about might change but as of right now this is what is out there and i will have links to the info pages about the private classes as well so something that i was not aware of when i switched my membership to the private classes that i'm very very glad is that way is that again right now if you have a membership that includes the private classes, it includes the group classes too. So you have access to both types. They do use the exact same materials for both the group and the individual classes. So you have the same layout of like A1 through C1 courses, the same topics, the same um, presentations. Um, you just have the option to sign up for the class as a group class, as a private class, or both if you want. Classes are 45 minutes instead of 55 minutes for the group classes. I think it's optional for the teachers to do private classes, but it seems like many of them are, and I think they set up their own availability and everything. Um, I did manage to find out by kind of sideways asking that they do get paid the same. So it's the same pay for slightly less work, which is obviously great for the teachers. Even though the material is theoretically the same, most of the teachers, but not all of them that I've booked so far as private classes have asked if I want to do the class material or if I want to do something else. Like if I want to, if I have any specific things I want to ask or um, just talk but a few of them have just jumped straight into the class materials. And then not specific to the private classes, just my thoughts after seven months. I have taken um, almost exactly 70 classes. I have taken 68 and I have two scheduled, I think. So I am averaging about 10 classes a month. I have at this point, once I take the two that I have scheduled, I have finished the B1 and B2 curriculum. And I really, really like this platform. I haven't had any issues scheduling classes, even though I am in like the most popular time zone. So I live in Eastern time zone in the US. And so that time zone after work classes do fill up noticeably faster than other classes. Um, but I still haven't had problems getting enough classes in. They do have classes on the weekends, they have classes you know in the morning if you have time before work, after work. Sometimes it takes time to get to all of the classes. Like I had one B1 class that it just took like weeks for it to be available during a time that worked for me. But as long as you're not being particular about taking the classes exactly in the order that they're listed, then it's easy to get them all in. I really like the teachers. Of course, some teachers are better than others. Some styles work better, you know, for me or for other people. I've only had one teacher that I really felt like was super disengaged. And then there are like maybe two others that I just don't prefer their style of teaching. Other than that, I mean, I've had like a dozen teachers at this point and I really like the vast majority of them. So I do feel, you know, I talked about the pay structure and everything in my last video. Um, I do feel like Babbel is just very kind of fair as a company. Like, obviously, I'm sure there are limits to that but I have heard that the teachers get paid whether someone shows up or not. I have not had issues with canceling classes, like even the occasional one that I've had to cancel within 24 hours. They say that they have the right to charge you a fee. I haven't been charged a fee. I definitely haven't done that often, but I've done it at least once. And so far, I don't think I've been charged a fee because I haven't been the only person in the class is what I assume that maybe they charge you a fee if you're the only person in the class or maybe if you do it too often, I'm not sure. But I don't know whether it's a fluke or not. I don't wanna obviously promise that you're not gonna be charged, but I don't think I have been yet. Um, it just seems like in general that they're not like waiting to try to take advantage of you or the teachers <laughs> like some companies do seem to kind of do. Something that can be a good thing, can be a bad thing, 
is the freeness of the scheduling. So like you can sign up for any class at any time. So there's no restrictions on like level. So certainly at times people do sign up for classes that are outside of their level, whether that's higher or lower. And so I have had a couple instances where people were very obviously outside of the level of the class, um, like way too beginner. But um, it's really only been a couple times, you know, in like 70 classes, it's been like twice that it's been like really egregiously obvious. And one of them, just like the teacher basically was like, um, this is an, like an intermediate advanced class. And he was like, oh, I didn't realize and like pretty much left right away. And then one person said he was going to listen to the class. But then I think um, I think he left within like 10 minutes also because he realized that listening was not really going to do much. Um, so, you know, it's not a huge deal when it happens. Obviously, it's a bigger problem if they stay and are kind of belligerent about like getting attention, I guess. Um, but I haven't per personally seen that happen yet. I did take one French class, a, a complete beginner class. It was like the second class in the list um, because I couldn't get into the first one. Um, and I was way too beginner to enjoy the class because first of all, I don't really enjoy speaking from day one, but also the other people in the class um, were not nearly as beginner, even though it was like the second class, like all of them had been studying for like quite a long time which to me is like, you know, not ideal for such a beginner class. But I do understand, you know, like I would be the same way if I started German right now. Like I would not know whether to start at the very beginning or not because I wouldn't belong in the very beginning, but I also wouldn't necessarily know where to place myself. So with the private classes, they have started offering a placement class so you can one-on-one -on -one meet with a teacher and they'll tell you where to be placed. I think that is great and I think that they should offer that for everyone. Like even if it's an extra fee, an optional thing, or whether they do it honestly as a group class and you just only get individual attention for part of it, I think that they should offer those for everybody because that would be so beneficial. Other than that, I, there's been a few instances where there have been people in the class that I really disliked and that were really disruptive. I think there's only one that really comes to mind and he just, you know, felt like he should be teaching the class for some reason, like disagreeing with the teacher about things, didn't like call him out or anything, but I was about ready to call him out. <laughs> but um, other than that, I haven't had any issues with anyone else on the platform. I Everyone has been great. It's really nice, the unlimited model, because you do see the same people every other week or something like that, which is really nice. I have really liked it, um, kind of like remembering stuff about other people, not in like a creepy way, hopefully, but you know, just like interacting and it's really nice. I like it. It is a much more sociable atmosphere. So yeah, all around still a big success for me. I really, really like Babbel. So I did do the conversion of membership because I still had like five or six months left on my group membership. So basically what you can do is just sign up for whatever you want the new membership to be. You pay that fee and then they will add on whatever other time you had left basically. So, you know, it may vary obviously based on the cost difference and everything. It's a little bit complicated in the way that they word it on the website made me think that I was going to get credit towards that purchase, but it's not. And, and the website doesn't say that, like it was my mistake, but it isn't fully clear. So just so you know, your purchase amount is what it is, and then they'll add time on. So if you're up, upgrading your subscription, it actually, for me, worked out to be a really good deal. Like I got a good deal on it, um, but Obviously the private classes are more expensive, so I'll have the price of what it is right now on here. Um, that obviously can always change. It's still really pretty worth it um, as far as how much you're paying per class if you are taking a lot of classes. Again, if you are not going to take a lot of classes, then this is probably not worth it. Like I think I'm really at like the tipping point where 
especially for the private classes, 10 classes a month is kind of, I wouldn't want to take many less than that, or I don't think it would be worth it because you might be able to get, you know, an italki teacher for that amount of money. But I also like it because I know if I'm paying $12.50 per class, and I know that they are actually making very nearly that amount of money to me. I'm much happier with that. So that's where I am at. Um, if you have questions, feel free to ask them below and I will see you in the next video. Okay, we are gonna play fast and loose with the wind here and hope that this works out.